just dropped the egg cleaver on the floor. Oh, Thomas, you really are a silly sausage. Pop it on the side and Alice can put it in the dishwasher when she gets home from walking Maximus. But, Mummy, you don't understand. Chloe hasn't topped her egg yet. <laughs> oh, crisis! Well, pass me the phone, Thomas. Maybe we can catch her. Well, come on, quick sticks. Well, that silly girl never has her mobile phone turned on. Oh, Alice, what luck we've caught you. Look, we're having a bit of a situation right here. Mummy, my egg can't breathe. I think it's going to discolour. Look, darling, I know. Just calm down. Mummy's taking care of it. Alice, what is the shortest cycle on the dishwasher? Six minutes. Oh, salvation. And how soon can you get here? Tell her to take public transport. Oh, that's good thinking, Thomas. Alice, take a taxi and get here as soon as you can. Mummy, my egg. And call the school and tell them Thomas and Chloe won't be in today. Now, calm down. We're going to be OK here. Mummy, will Alice be OK? She's bound to worry about us. She's only human. But there's nothing we can do about that right now. No. Do you think we're cursed? Oh, my God, we're all going to die! <laughs> now, I don't want you girls to panic. We're just going to have to be brave and sit this one out. <laughs> Do you want Coca-Cola? Do you want Coca-Cola? If you want Coca-Cola, let me know now before I close the cooler door. Um... Well, look, I've closed the cooler door now, so it's too late. If you want Coca-Cola, you'll have to get it on your own. Chloe, do you want a Coca-Cola? No, thanks. Right. Darling, darling, what did Mummy tell you? Not with a metal spoon. You'll bruise the dough. But it's only panini, Mummy. Now, come on, let's do it properly. Now, are you putting olives in yours? Yes. Right, well, that's fine, but you'll have to wait because there's only one olive fork because Chloe's using it right now, aren't you, Chloe? Well, actually, no, I'm still waiting for my olives to temper. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Jacques. We're fine. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to sit down. Just tell me what's happened. Right. Right. Um, listen, Jacques, I'm going to have to call you back. Yes, they're here with me now. No, they're fine. They'll be fine. Yes, thank you, I'm fine. I'll get back to you this afternoon. And Jacques, thank you. I know this wasn't an easy call to make. Thomas. Chloe. I've got something to tell you. You know Daddy left for Paris this morning on business. That was Jacques. Daddy's European PA. I've got some bad news. Daddy hasn't been able to find any good brie this trip. <laughs> but, Mummy, it's the school picnic tomorrow. I know, Thomas. Thomas, I know. Has he tried Le Bon Marché? Yes, of course, Chloe. He'll have tried Le Bon Marché first. I think we have some Wensleydale left over from Ginny's christening. Oh, Thomas, don't be silly. It's a Parisian picnic. Do you want all the other children to laugh at you? No. Oh, no, of course you don't. Now, come on, children, think. What about Rook 4? That eats well with some good bread. Good, Chloe, that's good. Now, pass Mummy the phone book. Come on, quick sticks. And Thomas, get me two Nurofen and a glass of Pellegrino. I'm getting one of my heads. <laughs> Oh, Mummy, how did it go last night? Oh, darling, aren't you sweet to ask me that? Was it a triumph? Was it Stella? Well, you know Mummy will always tell you the truth, don't you? Of course we do. We have no secrets. And it's because I want you to grow up to be brave little soldiers that... I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that... that last night, Mummy almost ran out of extra virgin olive oil. It was horrific. I was stranded in the kitchen. We were having guests for supper. I opened the cupboard and I was down to the last four bottles. Mummy, you're shaking. I just could not cope. You know, the reality is so different to anything you can imagine and I was blindsided by it. It just completely floored me. We had no idea. Are you okay talking about this? Oh, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, really, I'm fine. It, it happened and I got through it. I had to get through it. I had bruschetta in the aga, I had olives marinating in the larder, I had sea bass on the griddle. I was going to need at least another litre for drizzling alone. What did you do? I knew I had to do something. I knew I had to get help. And somewhere amid the chaos and the despair, I, su I suddenly felt this surge of strength. And calm rise within me. How amazing. It was, actually. <laughs> I had the presence of mind to phone Daddy, and thank God I did, because he was fantastic. He said to me, don't worry, because I can buy some from the shop on my way home. <laughs> and he did. Did he really? He did. Yeah, he absolutely did. Just like that. 
He came in like a knight in shining armour and saved my life. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. <laughs> he was fantastic. I shudder to think what would have happened if I hadn't been able to reach him. What if he'd been driving through a tunnel and lost his signal? You'd have had to get in the car and drive to the shops yourself. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on. Don't let's go upsetting ourselves. Gosh, it really does put everything into perspective, doesn't it? <laughs>